Hey everybody. I figured that an updated hair tutorial video thing was well overdue. <laughs> and lots of you keep asking me to do one, so here I am today finally doing that for you. I know it's a bit hard to see right now, black on black. I'm just going to show you how it is that I style my hair into the everyday fluffy ball <laughs> thing that I do. I know that a lot of you will say, oh I can't do that with my hair. My hair is too thin, it's too thick, it's too curly, it's too straight, it's too soft. I'm pretty sure that anyone with hair that's long enough to tease can be teased. It's really just a matter of teasing it properly and using the right products to get the right texture so that it, you know, sticks together. I will do other videos that are more specific about how to achieve gravity defying hair. I'm also hoping to show you in the near future how to do like the really impressive vertical hairstyles <laughs> that you occasionally see, especially within the, the trade goth and death rock scenes. But today I'm just going to start by showing you how I do my signature fluffy ball. <laughs> I don't really know what else to call it. I've been doing it like this a really, really long time now. Like, God, how old am I now? Shit, hang on. What year is it? I've been up all night and it's morning. I've had my hair more or less the exact same way for nine, nearly ten years. I keep thinking that I would like to do something different, but then I don't ever do it. But to be able to do it to start with did take a lot of practice and perfecting and a lot of looking stupid. And if I look at some of my old photos, it's like, God, oh, that's that bad. I get regularly asked if all my hair is real, if there are any extensions or extra bits added. No, it's entirely real. I haven't added anything. I guess I'm lucky I've got really thick hair already, which kind of helps add volume. I think sometimes that my hair is actually getting too big and too voluminous. I don't know, I don't think it's even possible for your hair to be too big. Okay, so let's get started and I'll show you how I style my hair every day. I start by separating my bangs and a little piece behind my ears and tying them under my chin so that they don't get tangled up with everything else. Looks really sexy, I know. Being freshly washed, it's smooth and will need texture so it can grip to itself and tease properly. You can use dry shampoo, volume powder or a texturizing spray. Then I take a palmful of hair gel, the strongest one possible, and rub it all through my hair. Then a dollop of strong hold hair wax and rub that all through as well especially near the roots so that it will have a strong foundation and not be too heavy on the ends. We are building a sculpture here, people. My hair feels sticky by this point, but that's good. It should be slightly sticky, but not wet or heavy. Now I'm taking an ordinary brush, pulling my hair forwards and brushing backwards underneath. I do a kind of general all over back comb with this brush, just to start with. I'm brushing my hair backwards, starting near the roots and moving towards the tips putting in a few puffs of hairspray along the way. Then I take a fine tooth comb and start doing a tighter back comb on sections of hair. The most important parts are the center and the back of my head. Flipping my hair forwards, I take a moment to admire how awesome it looks at this point. I repeat the same process on the top part of my hair, first doing a loose back comb with a large brush, then taking sections and doing a tighter back comb all over with the fine tooth comb. This is the most important bit. If you can see, I'm combing the hair towards the roots, starting near the roots and moving outwards. It should be teased the most densely near the roots, that's the trick to getting it to stand up. Then we begin with the fuck gallons of hairspray. Use the strongest hold one available to you. Then I fuck about with a comb and hairspray until it resembles the shape it's supposed to and make sure that I haven't missed any parts. Once it has achieved some semblance of its desired shape, I employ the use of bobby pins. I pull sections of hair upwards and pin them in place. I check with the mirror to see how it looks from the sides and carry on combing and adjusting parts that don't look right or are too loose. After enough combing, clipping, adjusting and lacquering with hairspray, then I am satisfied. This whole hairstyling process takes about 30 to 40 minutes. I just mess about with it until it looks right. I'll usually take a bit more gel and twist it in to give my hair more of a medusa tendril look. Then combat frizziness by carefully smoothing an anti-frizz lotion through. I like it to be a controlled mess and a general kind of beehive shape. Sometimes, but not always, I will straighten the front parts. As I vainly attempt to style my bangs, I wonder what the fuck to do with them because my hair is so thick and they just look so stupid. Sometimes I pull them off my face, 
Other times I sweep them to one side and hope for the best. So yeah, that's it. That is how it is done. And yeah, that's basically it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, I am hoping to do more hair related videos and tutorials. For example, how to style like a tower. Mm -hmm. Or to how to style like a nice death hawk, a side cut and so on and so forth. I think that would be really fun. Okay. If you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my lovely spooky channel. And as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other and I will see you next time. Bye.